What's a werebear? Twisted beasts. A curse of here seen. True bears are noble and great creatures of the wild. But the Daedra have no skill for creation. So they befile the Allmaker's workings. I've heard tell of men who, by curse or by heart's desire, become transformed into one of those vile things. It is a pitiable fate. And one that I wow. fear I mean, has fallen to my brother. If, if he's your brother, his, his last name was Wildblood? Frankly, I'm surprised more people in your family aren't werewolves or werebears. Especially you with a name like Wolf Wildblood? What the fuck? <laughs> When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they found themselves inside of a creepy, crusty, nasty old spider den hole, where experiments aplenty were being performed. However, that wasn't all that waited within its darkened halls. Indeed, at the very end, there was yet another messed up, nasty dragon priest dude who was doing their weird magic and yelling screams. Also, they found another black book of Hermaeus Mora, and within did they discover more untold powers hidden within its darkened recesses? Upon exiting, did they now have an opportunity, yes, to finally return back to the Skull Village and learn more from at least half of the other villagers who they had never spoken to? And now they set off to do exactly that. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Dragonborn. So, welcome back. <laughs> also, let's see here. Gentle viewers. Let's see. Be -be -be. Lewis Isaac and Tylosaur King. And of course, thanks to all the folks who gave them uh, likes and whatnot. But thank you for letting me know that indeed, although the Seeker of Sorcery buff does not explicitly denote as much, it does, in fact, give you a 10% bonus to enchanting. So, we'll just whoosh our way back up in there and you grab that those real quick. Books alone. There we are. Cool. Good. Yeah, Seeker of Sorcery. All right. Good. Let's see, does it actually buff our enchanting by 10? No. It doesn't, but... Apparently, supposedly, it does give us a 10% bonus to enchanting, although it doesn't say anything. Fingers crossed it does not actually get quote-unquote fixed in uh, the unofficial patch or whatever, right? Anyhow, let's be on our way to the illustrious Skull Village. Oh, shit. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Over here. Yep. Northeast. Good. Actually, should we put down a marker? Let's put down a marker, huh? Okay. There we go. Good. You know what? I would actually totally love it if um, these black book boons and all that, because, you know, canonically, it's this, like, twisted, fucked up, forbidden knowledge, right? It comes at a price. <laughs> I would love it if it really did come at a price, right? You know, sure, you have to clear out the dungeon and you've made some sort of bargain with Hermaeus Mora to where, you know, theoretically, it kind of makes sense that you wouldn't have to pay some sort of terrible toll. But it would be cool if maybe, I don't know. Well, I don't know, so, some of them are already strong, but maybe buff up the strength of some of them, but then also give you a detriment, right? Make them, like, even more of an interesting gameplay choice, right? Because you already have it to where, you know, it's you are making some, you have some degree of player agency in which ones you want to pick, right? Which is kind of fun in and of itself. Even if, you know, there are some that are like, why would anyone pick this one, right? But it'd be even cooler if there were drawbacks to some of them. I would love shit like that. Thinking of, I guess, the, um, oh shit, we're already kind of at the right hole. Let's wish nah. over this one. Ooh, fuck. I went right into... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. We're fine. 
<laughs> Jeez. Okay. I <laughs> went right into the little crack right there. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, fuck. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of sort of, um, what are they? Traits? In Fallout? I want to say is what they're called. But yeah, I, I would love some stuff that, that includes drawbacks. Right? Especially considering the fact that, you know, they got rid of drawbacks on at race selection. Or, yeah, right? There, there are no debuffs for picking a specific race in Skyrim, right? I don't think there are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's there's zero drawbacks, which is fair enough, right? It allows for more role playing, but I would love it if there were choices that didn't, that weren't necessarily impacting someone's ability to role play. Like, for example, picking whichever boon you want or any from the black books, you know, and then you would occasionally get a different detriment depending on the boon or something like that. Very interesting thing to think about. And they start playing, Bethesda start playing around again with this idea in Fallout 76, but I don't know, maybe that's just, maybe they, they're not too keen on spreading that out beyond Fallout, right? Because they've got the mutation system in that game, as well as a few others that are more like, I don't know, I guess derivative of the mutation system, I don't know. But to where, you know, you get a nice buff, but also it comes with a stat reduction in something else. Very interesting uh, decisions for the player. Anyway, we're here in Skull Village. And also, before I forget, let me see here. General viewers Ashwin KP and Miain? Sorry, I, uh, if I, I. Sorry to anyone ever if I mispronounce your name. I'm an idiot. But said that indeed, this infinite spell casting is from another black book that we have yet to encounter. Ooh. All right. Let's do the rounds here. I think we've already fully spoken to Morwen. Yeah. Baldur, you don't have anything new. Actually, we can sell some stuff to you real quick. Actually, do we want to buy, like, Stalrim or anything? I guess we could if we really do want to. you have anything else here? You got a Stalrim dagger? Would I want to buy that? Eh, not really. We could buy some other Stalrim stuff if we wanted. Ooh, a second ancient Nordic pickaxe. That said, it weighs 10 units. I don't know if that's worth it. Okay. I think we'll buy this iron and stuff, though. Yeah. Okay, let's, um... Let's buy all that. Why not? And then we'll pawn off as much we can in the way of potions and other trash. Good. Should we buy up some corundum? Why not? I think we need it for something. Okay. Over here. Let's sort by value and get rid of the worst ones first. There we are. Resist fire. Don't need them. Good. Regenerate health. Don't need these. We'll take the hit. Good. Okay. And then Good Freya day. can carry the rest of our shit. Look at Gordon doing an amazing spin. My father was a noble man. Very well. There we are. And over here, let's sort by total weight. Get rid of these, those. Good. Okay. The only problem with sorting by total weight is it starts to just, like, move all over the place, you know? Good. Okay, we could also give you a whole bunch of our, like, bone meal and shit. Why not? Because, you know, we didn't go back to our base of operations. Alright, that's as much as For we can stow for now. Okay, who is this? If Nicholas Edla. Leaves me now, oh, right. I will be truly alone. Do you have anything I else to say? Nicholas will hear your words. He no longer seems to hear mine. Yeah, hey, who do you trade with? <laughs> Many hunters pass through our village, and sometimes the Dark Elves of Ravenrock visit us. I think we've asked this They bring before. us things from that their homeland that we can't find on the island, such as spices, fine cloth, and ores that we cannot mine here. It's true we Skull prefer a simpler life than some, but we do still enjoy a luxury from time to time. Spices? What kind of spices would it be? I don't know. Some kind I of weird, nasty root or whatever the fuck? Wisdom. 
I don't I can't even think of any spices because like saltrice or marshmallow, none of those are spices. I don't know. Huh. Weird, yeah, what spices are from Morrowind? It definitely seems like there would be some kind of spices that are sought after that are from Morrowind, but I can't actually think of any. Okay. Wolf Wild Blood. The blood of wolves runs through your veins, skull friend. Oh shit, are you a fucking wolf? What wisdom can you share about hunting? The first piece of wisdom I teach to any hunter of the skull is to ask the simple question. Should I truly kill this beast? We take only what we need, and so we preserve the oneness with the land. Okay, dude, maybe you should have a word with all these people out here trying to hunt the mighty Netch. Because fuck me, it seems like every other day they're out here killing a Netch. Sure, how many do you need? Who even are these people? I never see them here hauling around a Netch kill. Are they even actually Skull? I, I don't even know! There's just roving bands of people going around killing the mighty Netch! What is oneness with the land? The Skull hunt not for sport, but to survive. We believe that all creatures have a right to live as they will. And when we take what we need from them, we thank the beast for its gifts. The less we disturb the land and the beasts within it, Wait. What? The more we respect the wishes of the Allmaker. Dude, the Mighty Net shit seems even more weird. I thought they were hunting it for, like, glory or something, right? Not necessarily for sporting, right? But sort of, you know, the next in line or whatever, right? On that train of thought. They're, they're hunting it for glory to some other purpose because they don't mind if I take whatever off of it. I can't remember. Do they actually say that they're going to eat it or, like do shit with its leather? I think maybe they mention the leather. But definitely, they, I don't think they eat them, do they? I don't know. What else does a first hunter do? When we stalk large game, I lead our hunters in tracking the beast. It is also a way of saying that I am the most skilled hunter in the village. Oh, I okay. I doubt that an outsider could truly understand. But I hope my words have helped to answer your question. How many fucking mighty nets have you even killed, dude? Come on, I bet you... Probably still in single digits. Come on. <laughs> well, what kinds of game do you hunt? Deer, bear, and horker provide most of what we need for skins and meat. Sometimes, when the wolves grow too bold and threaten the village... I swear, he's not even going to mention the mighty nets. He doesn't even mention them. What the fuck? Are those skull hunters for real not actually skull? What the hell? It's the Thalmor again. <laughs> it's the Thalmor. All of them. It's it's deep cover, super disguised Thalmor agents. <laughs> All right. How long have you been first hunter? In days past, my brother Torkild and I would share the hunt. But that was long ago. What happened to your brother? I wish I could tell you. He had a wild gleam in his eye. More so than most. In my darkest times, I fear he fell in among the werebears of the glacier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this was meant to be our introduction. Okay. What's a werebear? Twisted beasts. A curse of Hirsin. True bears are noble and great creatures of the wild. But the Daedra have no skill for creation, so they befile the Allmaker's workings. I've heard tell of men who, by curse or by heart's desire, become transformed into one of those vile things. It is a pitiable fate, and one that I fear has fallen to my brother. Wow. I mean... <laughs> If, if he's your brother, his, his last name was Wildblood? Frankly, I'm surprised more people in your family aren't werewolves or werebears. Especially you, with a name like Wolf Wildblood? What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about some fucking uh, nominative determinism, or however you say it. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? He set off from here so oh. long ago. It's hard to say. Would be in Hammerfell for all I know. If you happen Ooh, to don't cross tease me path, like that. 
be wary. He was a fierce warrior as a man. If he fell prey to his more bestial side, he could be deadly. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> but as a man, he was just a little fearsome. He was never actually deadly. He, he couldn't actually do it. Why do you think your brother became a werebear? He never felt the call of the Allmaker as I do. As we all should. We seek to live in peace with the land. But he had an eye for dominance and strength. For Whoa, what the fuck strength. happened between you two? You need look no further than the beasts of this island. Mangled by the Daedra. It's not a fate I would wish on anyone. And not what I wanted for my brother. Does her scene or her sign ever, like, make some sort of announcement or decree in this DLC? I guess, if anything, that's kind of surprising that there's nothing along those lines. Because, you know, back in the time of Morrowind, they were such a huge deal to Solstheim. And now it's like Hermamora all the time. Until okay. next time. Yep. I'm gonna chow down some salmon here. Alright. Who else? Osloff, have I spoken with you? Call you a friend, but I still see okay. an outsider. Fuck off, Osloff. What about you, dear Whatever dear you woodcutter? Whatever found in the old tomb, he is very excited about it. Okay. Is Tharsten back, by the way? I think he's probably still studying stuff there. Finna. The historian has not stopped speaking your praises. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. Very well. Let's check over here. And you're back over this way. Hey, kid. What do you have to say? The elders talk of Great Sig is much bigger than our village. But why would anyone need so many buildings? All right, we've heard from you before. Edla again. I, hope that I think we've heard from everyone. Words. We have yet to go inside of all their houses, though. Let's see if the historian is back in the Great Hall. I'm super curious. I don't see him. Yo, have you seen Tharsten? Do you have anything new to say? You risked your life to save Baldor. Your name will be honored in our village. Tell me more about your people, the Skull. Have we heard we this are before? Nords. Much like those you'll find in Skyrim. Long ago, I, I think we, we have. Live as one. Also, like the Nords yeah, of Yeah, we've old, heard this before. We embrace the Allmaker. Okay. We do not worship the nine gods of the Empire. Anything else over here? Hmm. Good day. No. Yeah, I guess Tharsten <laughs> hasn't come back or something? Odd. Okay, should we track this? Filial Bonds. I met Wolf Wildblood, who amazingly was not a werewolf, but whose brother disappeared many years ago. Wolf believes he may have become a werebear and warned me to keep an eye out for him. Okay. Sure. <laughs> what an odd thing. Maybe he really does have, like, some kind of familial habit. Of them becoming werebears or werewolves or something? I don't know. Because how, how odd, like... Yeah, he had that look in his eye. He always liked being strong and dominant. So I think he's become a werebear. <laughs> what a peculiar leap of logic, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, shit, he's just out there. Oh, he's just out there somewhere. Nowhere on the map. Okay. I see. How about this? Then we have... Kill the leader of Rodolf's house. Convince Nyculus to stay in Skull Village. Okay, let's do that. Where even are you now, Nyculus? You're in the village right now. Oh, shit. I heard that you and Tharsten explode an ancient crypt. That sounds like an exciting adventure. Yeah, but guess where he's at, Nyculus? He's not here. He didn't fucking come I've back. He got murdered before, and killed. But none were like you. Perhaps I'll be the first skull to slay a dragon. That would be worthy of a tale. Your mother tells me that you want to leave the village. That's right. I want to go out into the world and earn great glory. I want to hunt the deadliest creatures and claim vast riches. I'm wary of living in this village. 
I want to do something with my life other than farm, fish, and hunt deer. I know it must be hard for an adventurer such as you to understand this, but we Skull live very boring lives. Dude, if it were literally any other village on the entirety of the fucking planet, I guess, I'd be I'd be all for it. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah. Dude, live your dreams. Live live risky. And your mother or whoever she is isn't going to enjoy it, but you know what? You look fucking old as shit. You should be able to do as you please. <laughs> but you're literally from Skull Village where all sorts of shit happens every so often. I do understand. In fact, I'm willing to help you get started. The world is dangerous, and you're not ready for it. You'd abandon your mother when she needs you most. I do kind of, uh... You know what this reminds me of? The... Carmilla? Camilla situation? Way back in Riverwood. Right? It's very similar. Except I guess Riverwood, like we said, Riverwood was genuinely like a sleepy little logging village, at least before the dragons and everything. I heard that you and Tharsten explored an ancient crypt. That sounds like an exciting adventure. Okay, yeah. That's right. Okay, okay, Wary. let's skip through I know this. it must be hard for an adventure. How do we want to handle this? To understand this, but we Skull live very boring lives. I do understand. In fact, I'm willing to help you get started. You are? I admit... I was not expecting to hear that. Take this. Just give your mother some more time. 1,150 gold. Oh. Huh. I mean, frankly, that's probably... the most reasonable option of them all, because, right, wouldn't eventually Wanderlust fill him again after this? Like, we're only delaying the inevitable. You know? At least... Here, we're giving him money to get started and buy, I don't know, like a set of iron equipment. Yes, you're right. She still mourns for my father, and having me near brings her comfort. You have my oath that I will not leave the village until my mother is ready to let me go. I huh. can see that in my eagerness for adventure, I have forgotten my duties as a son and as a skull. You have helped me to see wisdom, and I thank you for that, skull friend. Clever way to hide the bribe, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Let's clear skies here. It is! Really cool, huh? You too could learn this, maybe. It'd take you a really long time, though. <laughs> okay. So there is actually no way in which you can have him leave and, like, go against her wishes. If Nicholas okay. leaves me now, I will be truly Nicholas. Lonely. Okay. I hope that Nicholas will hear your words. He no longer seems to hear mine. Yeah, Nicholas has agreed to stay. May the Allmaker bless you with many sons and daughters outside. Oh, take it easy. Maybe I don't Once want it. Once again, any. you have shown that you are a true friend of the Skull. I wish that I could give you a reward that is equal to the joy in my heart. But I don't have much to offer one who has so much already. Perhaps these will prove useful to you. These herbs are unique to the island. And their light cannot be found elsewhere. Oh, yeah. The parasol moss. Wait, Scathecraw? Hold up. <laughs> you can definitely find those elsewhere. Well, what else do you have for sale? I gathered some plants that are useful for making potions, but I have other goods as well. Okay. Let's see it. Do you have anything good here? Let's grab all these plants. Cool. Lovely. Anything else? Ring of Stam and whatnot. Should we buy some of this food? We don't really need any, do we? Let's get rid of, like... Oh, shit. What's our, like, cheapest one? Hmm. I guess we'll get rid of that. We'll take the hit. Alright. He always warms, skull friend. Sure thing. Let's see. Let's consult our quests here. Kill the leader of Hrodolf's house. What even is that? What is that? Hrodolf's house. Oh, it's down here. Oh, how weird. Okay. I mean, I guess we could do that. Sure. Let's see. Who are we friends with now? We're probably friends with her, and we could use her house. It's so good to Edla see. Edla and Ni Nicholas. 
Let's see. The elders talk of great cities much bigger than our village. There we are. But Edlis. why would anyone need so many buildings? Let's break and enter here. Maybe we can get a quick and easy snooze. There we go. Good. Wow, looks very familiar. <laughs> wow, this looks exactly like my house in uh, fucking, what do you call it? White Run. Okay. Oh, cool. There's a fun head here as well. Dude, you got a lot of odd stuff going on here. Look at all this shit they've just got. It's getting stolen by some asshole. Okay. Anything in this sack? What is this, like, strange thrumming we're hearing? I don't like that. Sounds almost like there's a black book inside of here. That can't be the case, though. Look at this. Look at all the clutter in here. Oh, look, we can actually sleep in these beds. Yeah, listen to that. There's, like, a distant thrum going on. Not a fan of that. Okay. Oh wait, I just realized all none of this is actually stealing. We really are best of friends now. Okay. Got an alchemy zone and everything. Well, a few things here are stealing, but most of it is not. Okay. A lot of hats. Okay. Yeah, sure aren't, uh, keeping the temptations low for your kid with all the cool combat armor and stuff. <laughs> Perfect for a, a budding adventurer. Alright, let's take a nap. Let's go for 12 hours, I think. 6 a.m. should be good. There we are. Have a nice, sweet snoozeroo. Oh. I don't think you oh, shit. Okay, sorry. It brings me great to comfort leave. to know that Okay, you sorry, sorry, stand. sorry. The it I said I could sleep much. here and I could take stuff. Hey, look, leave. they got horker meat up here. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> All right. Had a real Goldilocks situation. <laughs> okay. Let's head on down over to I guess this place all the way down here, right? Or hang on, let's let's check some of these other ones. Where could they be at? That goes to Falkreath. Visit the hunters at Frostmoon Crag. Do I want to do this Hockneer Deathbrands thing? Maybe. Let's track them. Let's see. What's nearest? Oh, yeah, it's quite close. Should we do it? Let's do it. Isn't this the one that's, like, quite the super treasure? Or am I mistaking it for something else? Yo, Thurston's back! He actually came back! Wow! Hey! That was quite an adventure we had, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Until next time, then. Wow, that's awesome! He was just walking back the whole time? Weird that he came in from this direction. Huh. Okay. Oh, he had a weird gleam in his eye, though. Uh-oh. An old Tharsten... Oh, he always did have a penchant for dominance and strength. <laughs> By way of the pen, of course. But still, dominance and strength nonetheless. Oh, he might be one of them. You know, the werebears. <laughs> Fuck, I would love to see old Tharsten become a werebear. <laughs> My, I don't know what quite is happening to my body. I'm turning into some sort of strange creature. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's good. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. I, I've completely forgotten why I'm even doing that. I, You know what? In between videos, I shouted at the, the rock there as well, just in case something would happen. Nothing happened. I think we're good. I've completely forgotten why I, I'm even doing it anymore. It was to free everyone from Hermamora's spell, right? But we don't need to now that we've 
dealt with the main quest and all that, huh? Oh shit. Look at this. There's a bunch of people out here. Okay. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. Here, let's get our cyclone at the ready. I'm down for that. Got a woot root here just as well. Can I run their asses down? Yes, I can. Ooh, you are pirates. Okay. Oh no, pirate captain. I thought you'd be wearing something a little more fun and festive looking. Let's see, don't I have another black soldier? Just in case. Nope. How insulting for this pirate mage. I get the dungeon cleared music and you're still walking around. Just insulting. Insult to injury. <laughs> Alright, let's take all this. There we go. Oh, look at this fun chitin shield. Oh, I kind of like the look of it, you know? Huh. I kind of like the look of it. It's got a good look. Okay. I can't say I ever took a, a glance at any of the chitin... Well, the chitin shield explicitly. <laughs> Obviously, we've seen the regular chitin armor and stuff around plenty. Yeah, lovely pearl oyster. All right, what's on you, bud? Death brand. Death brand treasure map. Ooh. Search for the treasure of Hockney's death brand. Okay. Should I take the fun book as well? I mean, we read this, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. And he screamed. Ah! Okay. Anything else around here? Should we track this quest? May as well. A band of pirates followed an ancient treasure map to Hackneer Shoal, where they discovered a chest at the location marked on the map. By following the map, perhaps I can find the rest of the treasure they sought. Ooh, pirate treasure. Okay. Oh, East Empire lockbox. Shit. Okay. Oh dear. Alright. This way. Ah, there we go. Nailed it. Everything worth taking. Ah, they were sleeping with their lucky potatoes and chicken. Keep you warm at night. Make you feel all nice and cozy. I just don't have a good rest anymore on this cold island. Unless I'm snuggled up next to my freshly cut baked potato and grilled chicken. <laughs> it just keeps my mind at ease. <laughs> These pirates are weird. <laughs> okay. Anything <laughs> over here? They're just eating all the raw fruit and veg. Got a sack filled with tomato. There we are. Red apples. Yum. Anything else? More cooking ware? Yo, these pirates are big on cooking. Okay. Here's the treasure. Neat. Oh, look. Three stones as well. Wild. Okay. Good. I guess none of them could pop the lock, huh? That's wild. You would expect pirates. If anyone could do that, it would be pirates, right? Suppose not. Oh shit. I think it went too up. No? Okay. I'm trying to like base it around the top left nipple thing, the like bolt. Somewhere around that. Sheesh. There we go. Yeah, that was like one, another one of those master... Oh, hey! Whoa, it's the hat! Wow, okay, Death Brand Helm. It gives water breathing. Plus 100 armor while wearing a complete set of Death Brand armor. Oh, I remember this. I think I used this armor for quite some time in my very first playthrough of Skyrim Land. I don't remember exactly what it does, but... 
it definitely rings a, a bell. Okay. Let's give this a quick pick. There we go. Good. This would have been, like, way back in... Well, by the time this came out. I guess 2012, right? But that was before I even revisited Morrowind and truly, like, entrenched myself in the idea of, like, succumbing to Morrowind's nostalgia and all that and truly appreciating a lot of it, you know? Okay. So I wasn't all up on bone... Bone mold armor just yet. Man, look at the fucking horkers roving and raving. Jeez, the horker wars. For real. Okay. There's some sort of moose over there. Very difficult to see it. Okay. Sure. Oh, look. Gordon gave me a big hunk of metal that <laughs> was out here for some reason. Okay. Have we gotten everything that we want from this little encampment? I think we have. Right? I got their poop bucket right there and everything. Oh, fishing supplies. Shit, we don't have a fishing rod yet. I don't even know where to make one. Probably just need, like, firewood and... I don't know what you would use. Maybe it's just firewood and you just, you know, make believe, make pretend that somehow you've turned this wood into a... A fishing line of some sort. Okay. We could also check out this peculiar cave right over here. Frosal. Or perhaps not. Uh, do we actually need to refer to the treasure map? I think we do. Or do we have a new quest that we haven't tracked yet? No, we, we do need to refer to the treasure map. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's it called, then? Alright. Hmm. Oh, dear. What if it's a miscellaneous item? I'm open to that being a possibility as well. <sighs> Holy shit, what could it be? Maybe it was called something Death Brand. You know? Okay. Up here? Yeah, this is it. Okay. I see. Oh, fuck. We have to go all around the fucking world to get it. Oh, jeez. Okay. So there's one way down here? Okay. Oh, man. All right. Sure. How do we want to handle this? I guess we could go, like, counterclockwise around the island. And then we would end up back here. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. F it, right? Sure. Okay. Can you find these pieces even if you don't have the quest? I'd imagine that they don't appear or anything like that if you don't have the quest. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. Porkers out here vibing. Flopping all over the place. Okay. Anything neat here? What is that? That's a big pile of ash, I think. Okay. And not from Red Mountain either, but from me. Woo! Chilling me. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, just that little tick of frostiness really messed up my vision and everything. Okay. Let's continue over this way. Is this Pearl? It is. Oh, look. Well, nah! We are thankfully. Oh shit. Uh oh. Freya has engaged. Which means so too must we. Go. Sorry, Horker pals. Should we take any of this? Eh. 
problem with the horker meat is that it's so freaking heavy. In its value in hunger restorative over salmon is just like, it's only a hundred, right? Maybe if, you know, upon cooking the horker meat just plain without turning it into whatever, like some sort of stew, but just having like a roast horker meat, maybe if it turned, one raw meat turned into like three cooked ones, you know? Maybe under those circumstances I would consider taking it. And then, you know, the cooked ones weigh less. Something along those lines. Yo, what was up with that? Three Nern Roots right here? What is this? Some little strange blessed pond? Huh. Okay. Sure. Let's get some more Orc Alchem while we're at it, huh? Look at this. Good stuff. <gasps> There we go. Okay. Got some spiky grass around here. Wonderful. Ew, what is that up there? What is that? This is some odd shape. Oh, I think it's a Reichling hut of some sort. Okay. Sure. Hello, mooses, mees. Or elk. Sorry. I never know. <laughs> Whatever you are, you beautiful bastards, hello. <laughs> okay. Another horker up there trapped in some way. How's it up there? I don't know. Maybe the tide was different and it just, like, flew up there. Never to return. Oh, shit, they're pissed. Okay. Let's just keep rolling around here. Can I climb this? Ooh, I can. Okay. We're gonna come upon a cave right here as well. Should we enter this? I don't really have a quest for it, but... Fuck it, you know? There may be... This may be the location of our werebear dude. Right? Last seen around a glacier or something? But that said, that, it was literally years ago. Right? Alright. Sorry, Horker pals. There we go. Good. Jeez, with all these dead horkers. Sheesh, Frey, it's a good thing you're like, surrogate father is dead, because otherwise he'd see this being the, sh like, village shaman, and he'd think that the blood moon was upon us again. <laughs> That's a fucking deep cut. Good lord. How many people remember that part of the blood moon prophecy? <laughs> or explicitly their interpretation of it. Okay. Over there. Good. Okay. Got some malachite. Good. Okay, you know what? I think we head on in here. Looks like uh, some Reichling shit, right? Glacial cave. Shit, maybe this is it. I don't know. Okay. Come on. Get out of there. I know you all are in one of them. Really? <laughs> Jeez. I don't want to get scared. I'm expecting it. No? Well, this is getting a little scary. Let me do a quick save just in case. Oh no! There they are! Oh shit. I tried to... Go ramming speed on you, but it didn't work. Let's get your soul just as well. Okay. Some boar meat. A pot. Oh, and a circlet. That was quite a short little dungeon. Okay. Dig up this malachite, I guess. Okay, let's see. Check the hut. Bloody rags, boar tusk, draft of light feet. I guess I'll just drink that. Shield of major blocking. Meh. Actually, the boar tusk is, yeah, a reagent. Okay. 
Anything else around here? Something stuck in the ice. Let's flick on the lights here. You can see a bit better. Make out these details. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh! I see. Okay. Alright, so if we bring that back to the throne. Okay. Look, it was worth it. Anything happen after taking that? Yeah, that makes sense that it would be down here. Man, so this is... This is the same, or... Well, I don't know if it's the exact same. But this is very close to exactly where... We were in Morrowind, right? Does that mean inside of part of this there's like the big Daedric ruin? Hmm. Weird. Yeah, you know what? I guess... I guess... You know, if there was the humongous Daedric Ruin on this island, now there's just, like, practically no evidence of it. You know? Is there... Do you, do you find any of the Daedric Ruin from the, like, Labyrinth Maze and all that? From Blood Moon? Do you find any of that out here? That's, like, supposedly inside of the glacier? I don't think you do. You know? Maybe it's, it's like, inversed. You know, back in the time of Blood Moon, you eventually learn about the wild shit inside the glacier over here. But then, you don't, you have no idea about this ancient dragon temple. Dragon cult temple. Temple to Mirak. Huh. Who knows, maybe there's some third thing. <laughs> I would love that. Just every so often, something new kind of just appears like, holy shit, this has been here the whole time? <laughs> Fuck. Just have it, like, be a weird running gag. <laughs> Just every so often there's some new-ass fucking <laughs> big fucking dungeon just sprawling. If they ever put Soul Slime into ESO, there needs to be, like, another gigantic dungeon. Don't revisit the, the one inside the glacier or revisit the Temple of Mirak. Don't revisit those. Just make another one. Make a fucking another one appear. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck yes! Hey, what's up? If you've come here to hunt, take a look. I'm here to sell, actually. <laughs> I was looking just for you. Jeez, you really don't have much. Hmm. What can I even sell you? <laughs> Do you, could I interest you in a minor magicka potion? There you Careful go. Out there. Soul time is full of dangers. Yeah. I don't even know what's over there. It looks odd. Peculiar. Okay, let's become ethereal. We'll probably be a bit safer Bye. for this. Dog, I cannot believe we're still on just one word of become ethereal. Fuck, I don't think it's working at all. Okay, yeah, this is fucked up. Okay. Okay. There we go. Ancestor's Wrath. I thought become ethereal would protect us from this horrific chill, but... Alas, it has done nothing. Okay. Up here. Good. Oh uh, yeah, that's where we dug up the stall room and there's the dude that was part of like the creation club quest or whatever. Or the ancient Nord jewelry, I think it was. Isn't that the area? Yeah. Probably more stall room over there, but alas, our, our inventory is getting a little full. Oh shit. Woof was becoming one with the glacier again. Okay. Over here. Good, good, good. Oh, look. It's Gordon and Freya and a big crab. What? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even notice it behind them this whole time. <laughs> she was just following Gordon. They were just frolicking around the beach. Oh my gosh, this crab had a name! Old Salty? No! Freya, what have you done? Oh no! That's awful! Can we pull its corpse out? No, it's stuck in there. I was thinking maybe I could cast a spell on it. Because I don't think... Oh, I think it worked. I can't fucking tell. It's too dark in there. Alright, well... See you, old Salty. Poor thing. There you are. Okay. 
<laughs> I love that though. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let's take the chitin. Does this ebony come back? It looks like it has, but it's hard to tell, you know? Yeah, we're not getting alert like... Eh, okay, there we go. Good. Love that. Beautiful. Okay, any other, like, fun tiny baby crabs out here? Just chilling? I don't think so. Okay. Look at this. It's new salty. There we go. Good. Let's take your chitin. Take your crab ring. Okay, should we refer to our death brand map? I think we should. Let's see here. Yeah, because we're coming up around the bend, so it should be north of this river inlet. You know? Is this the river right here? I think it might be. Okay. And I think, uh, don't we- isn't there also a place for us to rest up ahead? I'm not sure. Well, look, is that a dragon over there? Shit, it is. Okay. Yeah, like, inside of this place, wasn't there a area to rest? Not that we really need it right now, though, huh? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Now, look, these dudes have come back, huh? Very well. See, if we could put off getting this dragon to attack us, that'd be excellent, because we could hit up the... whatever we're looking for. The treasure. And then we could ride the dragon closer to the next one. You know? But I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Let's see. So there's the inlet. And it's north of it? Yeah. Just along the coast here. It might be up there, in fact. Seems plausible. Oh shit. Ooh. Nah! Got a little caught on the lip there. Okay. Hmm. I don't see anything. Let's do a quick save. In case things get dicey because of the dragon. Because I'm going to try to avoid openly attacking it. I mean, that has to be the inlet. You know? That's got to be it. Jeez! Jeez! Ho there! Okay, good. There's the dragon again. Oh shit, it is just a basic ass dragon. Okay. Got Bendwill going, good. Now, if we can find this thing before the dragon is, is done, it'll be excellent. Oh shit, there it is! Oh, perfect! Hail! Yeah, hang on, let me look inside this thing. I'm looking for, like, some shoes or something, I don't know. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, dude. <laughs> hang on, dragon lord. Oh god. Oh shit, Freya, I'm really embarrassing myself in front of this fucking dragon. Oh god. If only there were a shout for this. Honestly, how is there not? <laughs> there we go. Whew. Yeah, yeah, the gloves. While dual wielding, your one handed attacks do 10% more damage for each death brand item you wear. Yeah, pretty decent. For each item, you know? I think that was the main reason why I wore that armor. Okay. Cool. Let's do a quick save. Oh shit, no! What? Come on, dude. It wasn't even that long. I didn't spend that long on it. Are you shitting me? You're gonna land again though, right? You're gonna land again. That motherfucker is not gonna land again. Fuck me. <laughs> I can't believe that. Come on. 
Come on, swing on back around here. Look, I'm tapping E on the ground and everything. Here, can I hold E on your bod? Will that command you to, like, come chill with me a bit? Oh, look. Huh? Huh? Are you coming in for... For a chill time? <laughs> Shit, I don't think so. I'm just circling the wagons up there. Alright. Well, holy shit. <laughs> this is like the second time <laughs> something like this has happened. Okay. At least we aren't freezing to death this time. Shit, it was in about the same area too, huh? Oh! Oh? Oh, you dick! <laughs> what is this? Come on! And then you fly into the rocks and mountain? Shit! All right, when next we come back, I guess we're making our way along the coast on foot. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>